Hi guys, it's Jess here. I just thought that I would jump on and do a live crafting video with you guys. I'll just see if I can tag. No, it's not letting me tag anyone. Oh well, that's all right. I'm sure that you guys will either jump on live and craft with me or the video will still be in the event afterwards anyway, so you can watch the replay. If you are watching live, say good day. Um, let me know that you're here. Hi Laura! <laughs> and uh, if you're watching the replay, drop a replay in the comments. Uh, and if you have any questions, uh, just let me know, uh, whether it's during the live crafting or afterwards. I'm, I'll be checking all the comments and stuff, so just drop a, drop a comment and let me know if you've got any questions about products or sizes or techniques or anything at all. I'm happy to help. So... Uh, Laura has told me that she's got best dressed on her wish list, so I thought that I would show you a couple of the samples that I've got here, um, and uh, some of them are made by me and some of them are made by other people, but it gives you an idea of uh, the different things that you can make with this beautiful suite. And then we'll get crafting. So I'll flip you around. And pop you on my little whoops video stand sorry my cord is all twisted and it keeps pulling my phone to the side <laughs> okay so these are some of the goodies that I've got here and sorry my desk my is a little messy at the moment because I've been in the middle of making a bunch of cards for neighbours and team members and customers um, because you know this is a really good time to be sending everyone a little bit of love oh is that too bright let's go the other way uh, sorry guys not great lighting but that's all right so uh, these are all using the best dressed sweet uh, this is the little handbag that you can make with the coordinating dies and it's really cute I'll bring it up close so you can see it's got this stitching detail and it actually cuts the little buckles these are made with gold foil cardstock um, and it just goes together really really cute doesn't it so you can have it uh, and it's been decorated with another sweet or a um, other stamp sets but you can have it so that it's out this way or tuck the little things in and you can also make a backpack out of it as well so if you bring the little buckles at the back just lower um, then you can you can make it into a little backpack too it's really cute uh, and this one here is, sorry about the light there guys, this one here is using the little lipsticks and the lipsticks have been coloured with the um, alcohol blends and then there's a big watercolour splash on the back and some flicking with the Stamping Right markers. So that one's really, really pretty. That one's, uh, this one was made by Shani Haynes. This one was made by Kayla McCauley. Kayla was actually on the Artisan team, I think, last year. And this one is Adele Smith. Sorry, try and block that light. So she's used um, the background stamping. And I think that that is the... There's actually a a stamp she's used it on the perfume as well I don't know if you can see that there she's used it in the background as well as the roses to give it that uh, water wash sort of look watercolor wash look and she's this is the paper from the the uh, best dress designer series paper she's just used a few different strips of that so that's a really cool different look of using that paper and stamp set and then this is one of the projects that I made for my stamp camp recently. Um, so you might have already seen this one 
on my um, blog or on my Facebook page but it's a little box and I've used the um, Gorgeous Grape pigment sprinkles mixed with alcohol, rubbing alcohol and spritzed it using uh, one of these masks and so these are the white pizza boxes and I've spritzed it all over using the mask and then cut out the roses from the designer series paper and then inside we've got the little mini cards that are part of the suite so these are the ones that we made at uh, on stage which is convention for stamping up and there's a little bit of Winker Stella on on there I don't know if you can see it if I can get it to shine in the light for you anyway <laughs> little little highlights of Winker Stella on those ones and then these are the ones that I made for stamp camp so same same but just a little bit more um, <laughs> you can hear my husband yelling at the kids out there um, <laughs> so these little purses and things have been cut out from the designer series paper um, and stuck on top so sort of similar to the ones that we made it at on stage uh, but just a few more details added. So it's a really, really cute set. And I hope that that gives you some extra ideas there. Uh, and I thought actually for today that I would use the Honeybee stamp set. Um, I don't know if you've seen that one or not Laura um, but it's super cute and it actually coordinates with some of the free paper that you can get in celebration so I thought that we'd make up some really cute cards and I'm just going to use pineapple punch uh, ink and cardstock and keep them really simple um, but hopefully pretty. <laughs> I'm just going to open up some of the other blinds behind me. Let a little bit more light in. Sorry, that light is really harsh. So, there we go. Okay, I think that's about as good as I can get. <laughs> Alrighty. So, got my stamping trimmer here. This is the new trimmer. And the blades do actually last a lot better than the old trimmer. Um, they're, they're a lot bigger than the blades on the old trimmer. So, that works well. And then the, have you got the new trimmer? Laura or have you got the old one the score tool is actually like a little wheel rather than uh, it, the old one had like a blunt blade on it um, like a blunt plastic blade but this one's actually got a little wheel so it doesn't catch the edge of your cardstock so that's been good okay let's get started so I'm just going to cut some of the Pineapple Punch cardstock. And I keep my cardstock, I'll show you the pack. I bought these uh, from my local $2 shop, but you can get them in Officeworks as well. Um, and they are A4 document holders. So they're just plastic um, plastic document holders because I have um, a lot of cardstock. <laughs> I basically use one um, one document holder for each colour and then I keep them all on a cube storage, um, like one of those cube storage shelves from Ikea. So they fit in there really nicely. I've got them all in, 
in a lovely rainbow order. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to score it first and that way you get two cards done at once. And then, so I scored at 10.5 and I'm cutting at 14.85. And so you don't have to always check. The dark one is the blade and the light one is the score tool. But they've actually got, this one's got a little triangle on the top and this one's got a little dot. So you can even just by feeling them, you know uh, which blade you're using there. So I've got two card bases there ready to go now. Before I put that away, I will cut some designer series paper. So this is really, really pretty paper. It's all black and white, just with a little bit of gold. So we've got the, the bees. And the dies actually fit the flowers and um, some of the bee shapes. So that's the small bee. And then there is a large bee on some of the other pages. So how cool is this paper though, right? Are you doing the video, Lukey? Mum? Mm -hmm. School pieces are only little. They are. Do you want to pop out with that? <laughs> dear. We've got both of them in here now. Thank you. I need to scratch my back. <laughs> They're both naked. <laughs> Because why would they be dressed, right? Uh, so there is the bigger bee on the gold there. And that fits this die here. You need a Go on, Lukey. How'd you pop with Dad? <laughs> Thank you, Dave. So, really, really pretty papers. And you can colour these in because they're not um, glossy or anything. They're matte paper, so you can colour them in really easily as well. Anywho. We'll just cut up some of this first page. And you can actually cut up two pages at, a one, at once. You could probably cut up more if you wanted to, but I'm always worried that I'll get them uh, not lined up properly. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and cut these because I know I'm going to use them all. Uh, because I've got a whole heap of cards that I want to make for friends and family and um, customers and neighbours. And I just thought I'd go on a little card making spree and pop them all in the post because um you know everyone's going through this isolation business together right so just pop a little bit of happiness in the mail so i'm cutting at 14.5 by 10.1 which is my standard uh size that i like to use And this is just going to be in the background and then I'm going to stamp some little um, beehives to go over the top. 10.1 So I'll just make one card with you guys and then I'll do the rest after that. Well, might as well chop it while I'm here, hey? <laughs> And if you pick one design and then you can make a whole bunch of them and it makes it makes your card making a lot easier. Dear me. Screaming banshees out there in the lounge room. <laughs> Alrighty. So. <laughs> Good thing you're a mum, Laura. <laughs> You understand all of this noisiness in the background. <laughs> Alrighty, so here's the cute little stamp set. So I'm going to stamp this little um, beehive 
and uh, then I'll pop some of these uh, little sentiments on there as well. So I might actually do it on how am I going to do this? Let me have a think about it while I stick the stickers on because this is a brand new stamp set. So if you haven't seen how I stick the stickers on before, I peel that off first and then get the stamp and you don't have to do this for the clear polymer stamps, just the clean out stamps. So line that up and then peel it off and you've got it on there nice. So for Laura's guests, if you haven't used uh, these sort of stamps before, you just basically get one set of the clear blocks, which I'll show you in the mo in a moment, um, and then all of your stamps use the same clear blocks. So you just peel them off when you're not using them, and leave them in your little DVD case, and it means that they um, stack really nicely on like a bookshelf as well. So I've got, I actually just recently got some extra storage in my craft area. I've got one of those, um, like a billy shelf from Ikea, but it was an Aldi one. I got a bookshelf from Aldi a couple of weeks ago they had on sale. So my husband actually trimmed it down just a little bit for me because it was, when I measured the window, because we've got like three narrow windows in our bedroom and I thought that the well it didn't stick that one on very well I thought that the um, shelf would fit uh, in between the windows but it was just a little bit too wide I measured it incorrectly <laughs> so my husband after I'd spent all day putting this bloody bookshelf together <laughs> my husband took it apart and trimmed it down and put it back together again for me <laughs> so that it fit in between the windows where I wanted it which was quite good of him wasn't it all right and what else do we want I want to use this thinking of you sweet friend stamps are a little bit fluffy. Okay, I'm sorry if my head's getting in the way there. I'm going to try and stick them on. Okay, and I will do the rest later I think. I don't think I'm going to use the rest just for now. So we'll pop those aside. Okay. Pop this in the, in the bin with my little daffodil that I got given from the garden. Not a daffodil, what is it? Anyway. <laughs> Alrighty. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick this card base on. And so with the sizes that I've used, I've given myself about a 2 mil border. Alrighty, and then I just want to pop the little, uh, what's it called on there? Beehive. Going a bit nuts. 
and then I thought I would put that on there as well uh, but I need I might need to put it like in a little a little square or something so that it sort of sits on there because otherwise the writing won't show if I <clears throat> stamp directly onto this background paper so we might cut just a little um, just a little square of white paper so I use some um, thick whisper white I've got some thick whisper white here and so how big do I need it to be So I probably want to do seven and a half square or seven by seven and a half. Might do seven by seven and a half. And then I think that'll fit nicely. <laughs> Good. I'm glad to see you you crafting along with me uh, so I'll do seven and a half by seven okay so I might do couple of the clear blocks out and this is what I was talking about earlier with the clear blocks stick that one on like that and pop that one on there and I might do something just a little bit fancy <laughs> so I'm going to um, no, that stamps nicely so I'll ink it up in the pineapple punch but then I might just add a little bit of shading to it so I've got some sponge daubers here oh, if I can get the packet open always forget which way those things open and I've got a one here for mango so I'll do some mango melody and actually you know what you could do as well might just stamp the bottom half of it. Let's see how that looks. Well, that's quite cute. Alright, so I'll stamp it up in the yellow and then I'll stamp the bottom half of it in the Mango Melody. And when you're doing this sort of thing, always start with the lighter colour and then go to the darker colour because there's not too much difference between these two colors the yellow won't really show on um, the mango melody if you only do it a couple of times if you do it a lot it'll start to show um, but yeah if you go from the dark to the light obviously that'll show and if you're unsure you can always use a dauber or a sponge um, and put that, use that to put it on. So I might put that relatively close to the bottom. And then I might just do orange mango melody for the words. Oh, 
okay. And then I've got a little framelit somewhere. Where did I put the framelit? I've got a little framelit there and I might just pop it out so so that it just gives a little bit more dimension on the on the card. So you could just fussy cut this with scissors if you don't have the embossing machine. But there is meant to be a new embossing machine coming out in the next annual catalogue. So we're all holding our breath for that. <laughs> and Stamping Up have been super experimental with the name of it because it is called the die cutting and embossing machine. <laughs> on there And you could even mat that with a another piece of cardstock if you wanted, like a little bit of more of the pineapple punch would look nice, just a slightly larger square underneath. But this will be fine. And some dimensionals. Do four. Oh, do one more. <laughs> and Gonna add some ribbon, but I can't decide what ribbon I'm gonna add, so I'll just leave it like this for now. And stick that back in the hole. And that way it just adds that little bit of dimension to the card. Super cute, isn't it? Now yeah, should we stick should we stick a little gold bee or something on there? I think we can stick a little bee on there, can't we? Let's see. Yes, these are really cute. Or should we use one of these? Maybe I'll do one of these ones. Eee. Get them out of the pack. And I'm, um, am I going to put a little bit of yellow cardstock here, so I'll do, we use that. that 
little leg stuck. There we go. My scissors. There we go. So you can actually punch out all of those little bits. handy tool called the dye brush of course it's not going to work when it's on <laughs> on a live video someone's been brushing their hair with this little ones out. Must have had a um, bit of a dent in my in my uh, what's it called the clear clear plate. So I'll just line that back up so that it's back inside. And it actually lines up really easily because of all of the grooves in the cardstock. Just make sure that it's really... There we go all those little extra bits out that was easier Here's a little bumblebee I'm not going to bother putting uh, any glue on the on the wings or anything. We'll just let him stick up from the page, and that'll give him a nice three D effect as well. And you can actually, if you want to, you can sort of curl his wings a little bit if you use the edge of a bone folder. And here we go. It's a cute little card, isn't it? You receive that in the mail, that it will brighten up your day. Okay, so I'm going to do the inside of the card. And that is, I'm going to stamp this little bee. And you can also stamp the front of your envelope if you're doing an, an envelope to match. And...
We'll still have a little bit of ink on it, so I'll do this and it'll be nice and light in the middle of the card. There we go. It's cool, isn't it? So there we go. Nice and simple. I do find when I'm making cards that I gen generally stick to two or three colours. Um, and I find that that, for me, is more effective. Um, but, you know, sometimes they look really cool when they're really bright as well. So, lots of colours. Let's stick some of these on there. These are the faceted gold gems. I think those are going to look quite cute on there, like little... Little drops of honey. There we go. And that's it. Bring it up so that you guys can have a look at it. And then there's the inside. Cute. So I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for joining me for crafting today. And um, as I said, if you guys have got any questions whatsoever, let me know. I'll be checking the comments regularly. And, um, whoops. <laughs> uh, you can use Laura's host code when you're ordering. If you're unsure about your order, please feel free to contact me. I'm happy to run through it and make sure that you're getting the best deal. There is this celebration promotion going on at the moment um, where for every $90 you get to pick a little freebie and then there are some items that are $180. They're the red stars and $90 are the purple stars. So... Um, there's lots of goodies and they're all listed online on the online shop under the celebration tab. There is also some new goodies that have been added that aren't in this little catalogue. So, um, do check that out. There's also the really amazing joining deal on at the moment and, uh, this ends on the 31st of March. So if you're interested in joining, it is a really, really cool deal. You get, um... About $400 worth of stuff for $169. Uh, so you get to pick $235 worth of stuff. And then you also get an additional free stamp set, this entire pack of 6 by 6 inch paper, and a little 6 by 6 inch trimmer. It's a guillotine style one. And uh, you also get 20% off any future orders that you make, at least until the end of July. So it's a really good deal. No strings attached, no pressure. You don't have to sell or do parties. I do because I enjoy it. But um, if you just want to join for a discount on your own purchases, then that is what 95% of Stamping Up demonstrators are. So you won't be alone in that. Anyway, if you've got any questions at all, let me know. And um, I'll chat to you guys soon. I'll continue over the next couple of days to pop some cards and videos up for you all. And uh, we will wrap up the party by the 31st of March. So make sure that you pop your orders through before then um, or contact me and let me know if you've got any questions. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Bye.